Mr. Thompson, the chairman of a successful company, lived a life of luxury. However, he was known for his arrogance and rudeness towards his neighbors. Every evening, Mr. Thompson drove his sports car home, honking loudly for his workers to open the gate. Mr. Thompson often hosted noisy parties, disturbing his neighbors late into the night. Mr. Thompson's purebred dog roamed freely, leaving messes that he never cleaned up. The financial crisis struck, and Mr. Thompson's company faced severe financial difficulties. He had to let go of his workers and sell his sports car. Following the crisis, Mr. Thompson's attitude towards his neighbors changed. He began greeting them and showing politeness. Despite his change in behavior, the neighbors still ignored Mr. Thompson and did not alter their opinions of him. One neighbor advised Mr. Thompson that offending people during tough times can be mended during good times, but offending people during good times is hard to fix during tough times. Mr. Thompson realized his mistakes and understood the importance of genuine human connections. As the economy recovered, Mr. Thompson's company began to thrive again. He rehired his workers and bought another sports car. This time, Mr. Thompson treated his neighbors with respect and kindness, even offering them rides when convenient. When Mr. Thompson moved away, the neighbors threw a farewell party, expressing their appreciation and giving him gifts. Good relationships are built on genuine humanity, not selfish interests. Recognizing one's true self during good times prevents being blinded by ego and materialism.